all, this is Kasak Ma Keparu for Project Illuminated Hatepu. And um, if you're a Star Trek fan, you'll see in the background I have the uh, intercom here from the Star Trek original series. I'm a big Star Trek fan. But anyway, um, I wanted to drop by and tell you that on this Tuesday, I'm holding special one-on-one -on -one sessions regarding the topic of reincarnation. So if you're looking to find out who you were in a past life, um, please come and I'll reveal a little bit of information about that along with um, what trials and tribulations you'll be facing in this lifetime. So you should know that what you're going through in this lifetime is a direct result of how you lived in your past life because certain people who you'll see in today modern world who are going through a lot of problems and some people who you'll see have abundance, they have wealth, those things are a direct result of what they set up for themselves in a previous life, meaning that they went along, they got into certain subject matters, they studied certain things, they were um, born into certain families that allowed them to come back in this lifetime and continue um, with those things. So what I'm going to do with you is reveal who you were in a past lifetime, um, what were the issues you faced in that lifetime, and then I'm going to show you how it directly results or relates to this lifetime and what you must do in order to resolve and bring closure to those things in the past life and also um, reveal why, you know, things that you need to address so you won't continually have the issues that you're having now in this present lifetime. So that's going to be uh, this Tuesday. It's going to be really insightful because I'm going to go into the subject of reincarnation really deeply and you're going to hear it from a different perspective. Uh, maybe um, in a way you're not used to hearing it. And I also came across something that was very interesting. It was an article written by a, a noted, I think he is a quantum physicist. Um, he, does, he also studies astrophysics. Um, and he basically uh, puts down in very, very concrete scientific terms an argument for reincarnation. I think it's brilliant. But it also, I, I read it and I'm just shaking my head because I'm thinking to myself, and you have to understand where this is coming from in the scientific community, community because there's a lot of racism there. It's that um, ancient um, African shaman and, and African priest really delved into this subject matter and then explained it and, and left a whole wealth of material for us to read. But society rejects it because they are of dark skin hue. But when these... Um, scientists come along who are of white complexion and then they talk about it and they they give it a different name or a label then it becomes more acceptable in other words let's talk about for example things on a quantum level subatomic particles um, it's okay for them scientists to believe in that and talk about that even though you can't see it with the naked eye but when the African priest and shaman talked about the spirit well, realm and talked about how things exist beyond your sight, then that was considered mysticism and primitive. But yet, you know, if you can't see um, um, quantum particles because they're not visible in the naked eye, they're, just, they're so small, hence the term quantum, then why is it so acceptable in academic circles to believe in those things? But yet, when our ancestors talked about things on the same level, but labeled them differently in terms of the spirits, the angels, the guides, the demons, and all that, that it was so hard for us to accept that notion when we were talking about the exact same thing, but using a different terminology and label to, to classify and define it. So um, that's a lot of times when I'm reading these things by these scientists who publish these papers and these books, and they pretend like they're discovering something new when all along it existed in um, African literature from thousands and thousands of years ago. It is just mind-boggling to believe that these guys actually think they know what they're talking about when it's already been discovered. So you're just taking what was discovered, renaming it, and then saying, oh, well, hey, here's a reason why it does exist. I've proven it. You've proven nothing. <laughs> you're just plagiarizing something. But anyway, um, I'm including a link into the article by the scientist, um, and you can read it. He talks about the term biocentricity or, you know, whatever, and you can read about it how he talks about how um, your soul or spirit goes to an alternate universe because he subscribes to the multi-universe theory, which, you know, again, African people already knew about that. <laughs> so we knew there were other realms and dimensions. We classified that already, you know. So there's nothing new under the sun there. But read the scientist's article, uh, his article, 
And um, but I think it does. It is of value because it does make a really interesting case from a scientific point of view why there is such a thing called reincarnation. So um, check it out and uh, don't forget to register for the one on one session on reincarnation. Well, I will reveal to you what your past life was about and who you were. It will be very insightful. So this is Kasakma Keparu for Project Illuminated, and that's all for now. Mm -hmm.